there, my name is Chris Huber. I'm part of the Steve Vai crew. I do drums, percussion, and I take care of the beast. They jokingly call me the Beast Master. And uh, I also do a lot of the pictures and photography that you see in the video. And uh, I'm here to talk a little bit about the Story of Light Tour. To call Steve, uh, you know, an amazing guitar player is just such an understatement. You know, I think I call him a musical entity because he literally just composes the entire all the music for the album and then he does it on, a, on an even higher level you know with the with everything at the or orchestras and, and all that these days so I remember the first day of those rehearsals and him joking you know 12 hours in saying we almost got through the first song one of the things that I, that I really enjoy about touring and I like to keep it in the back of my mind is that basically we're traveling the world and we're we're bringing happiness to people you know when you go to a concert, you really just want to leave all your cares and worries behind and just go out and have a good time, you know. And I think our job as a crew is to really facilitate that, that people come out and they have sometimes, you know, the best time they've ever, ever had in their life. And for me, when I look out, you know, every night and see just this crowd of smiles and people just having the best time, it just really makes it all worthwhile. You know, all the hard work that we put in as a crew, you know, that's what it's all about for me. It's just to see the happiness that you're bringing to people. And then after the show, a lot of times we're out there, you know, as the crew waiting for our van to go and the fans come up and they're just, you're signing autographs and you're shaking hands and they're just hugging you and you, you tell them, hey, you know, I'm just a crew guy. And they say, I know, but you guys are amazing. And, you know, it, literally you get choked up as a crew and when you're at this level and doing so many shows it's not a matter of if something's gonna go wrong it's how you handle it when it goes wrong and I think when you when you're at an A-level situation like this I really look at the crew as, as we're like ninjas you know we dress in black and there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes there's people running around and costume changes and we're preparing for the beast and things will happen and there's you know guitar trade-offs and you just are in and out and seamlessly so that the crowd literally never sees it and Jeremy in particular I've worked for a lot of different bands and drummers and he's the hardest hitting drummer by far that I've worked for and he breaks everything I mean snare heads top bottom cymbals stands I mean you name it he breaks it so a couple moments stand out in Israel I remember uh, we were playing there and uh, I look up and he's kind of holding the stand and you know struggling with the stand so I jump up tighten this to go to tighten the stand and it's stripped you know it's a rental so I'm sitting there underneath the snare drum like six inches under the snare drum and I didn't have ear earplugs in at this time and he's hitting as hard as he can and my head's feeling like it's literally going to explode and I'm thinking you know what am I going to do and I and I think you know I have a spare over here so literally at that moment there's like a 30 second you know pause in the song so I yell to him you know it's broken hold it hold it so I jump out I grab the spare stand we swap it out I tighten it I get adjusted right as the you know he's coming to the beat to go back in the song and he looks back and we're both just laughing you know it's a seamless thing and the crowd never knows the difference I remember we were in England, I believe Brighton Beach or somewhere, and, I, and it's after the show, and it's like 2 in the morning, and uh, I look over, and it's me and Mike and Jarrett and Thomas, and we're sitting on the beach, you know, and we're just having a cold beer, thinking, looking at each other, just laughing, going, are you kidding me? Look where we're at. What, what an amazing life and what an amazing job we have. And there you have it, and there it is.